and I just started dragging a golf club around and in the backyard and in a diaper, just dragging it around. And we we had coffee cans out there. They buried holes in the ground, put coffee cans. So I tried to knock it in that and stuff. And kind of knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to play golf for a living. So I started dabbling in golf and I went out for the high school golf team. I, I was pretty good. I could, we played nine hole matches. We didn't play like they do now, 18 hole matches. and. I was pretty good. I could shoot, you know, 38, 39, just keep in the 30s was fantastic. So anyway, I just kept working at it. My dad and my grandfather played on the weekend, so I'd go with them every weekend to the golf course, every weekend. I knew there was a thing called the PGA Qualifying School, so I wanted to try to go to that. And so we got the money up. And back then, you could go twice a year. Now you, they don't even have it. It's eliminated. So I went and tried, and it's two stages. And I got through the first one in Virginia and went to Palm Springs, California. Never been nowhere in my life. Got out there and was just intimidated. I uh, didn't play well, didn't make it. Went back the following year and luckily got my PGA Tour card and stayed fully exempt for 15 years. Well, the, the, you know, the better the competition, the better you'll play. I mean, that's just, and I saw players that were better than me. I knew what I needed to work on, but basically I was, I was a gifted athlete. I was born with a lot of ability. God blessed me with that. And uh, I worked at it harder than people think you have to work at it. You know, I would, nighttime when I had my driver's license, I'd go out and put on the putting green till two in the morning and under the street lights and stuff like that. My, my two greatest accomplishments was, was, would be the Byron Nelson, and actually there's three, both my, I shot 229s in the US Open and was the first one to do it. And, 108 years, I think, or something like that. Placement is not that hard. Oh, Neil, not left. Uh oh. Give me a bounce. Big bounce. And he is just putting as close as he hit it, just right on the edge of the fringe. He hits a beautiful flop shot there. Boy, that is quite a shot right there. He just opened it up and flopped it up there and came down to 18. And this is for an open record. Neil Lancaster has played the final nine holes in 29. Someday my wish he kept that ball. 16 players have shot 30 for nine holes in open, but Neil And I shot it on a great course called Shinnecock Hills. And just happens to be the US Open ends every year on Father's Day and my dad was there, so that was pretty cool. I was lucky enough to play in the Masters twice. Uh, I played in the British Open, played in PGA Championships. I played in all the majors. But, you know, you, you, and they're the most difficult. They make them the hardest. And usually, everybody from Johnston County always said, it's my golf buddies, they say, the harder it is, the better I played because I'm a field player. And so, I didn't like it being hard, but everybody's like, you do better when it's hard. If you play golf and start at a young age, you can play golf for a lifetime. I mean, we got guys today at our club that teed off this morning that are, you know, in their mid 70s, early 80s. They enjoy it, they love it, they play every day. And that's something you can do. You can't play basketball at 82. And, uh, but it's a game of a lifetime. I would tell everybody to get their kids interested in it. <laughs> 